The first prototype GP30 was built in 1961. It retained the turbocharged 16-cylinder 567 series engine of the GP20, uprated from 2,000 to 2,250 horsepower, and was initially known as a GP22, following EMD's short-lived tradition of linking the model name to the locomotive horsepower. After a number of design changes from this initial demonstrator, including the addition of several features that would be carried through to subsequent models, the name was changed to the GP30 and it entered regular production in 1962. The name change was partly a marketing response to competition from the 2400 horsepower Alco RS27 and the 2500 horsepower GEU 25B, both of which had a horsepower and a model name advantage, and both who were still in bed with each other at that time. The GP30 marked the first significant departure from the utilitarian car body design introduced by the GP7 and carried through to the GP20. The addition of an inertial air intake system behind the cab, along with a renewed emphasis on appearance, resulted in a restyled car body with a raised fairing extending from the cab roof to the middle of the long hood. With the inertial air intake occupying the front of the hood, the radiators were combined into a single section at the rear of the hood with two 48-inch fans flanking a single 36-inch fan. In combination with EMD's signature swing hanger Blomberg-style trucks, the car body of the GP30 makes it unlikely to be confused with anything else. Railroads that operated the GP30 were the Chesapeake and Ohio, the Burlington Route, the Chicago and Northwestern, the Denver and Rio Grande Western, the Great Northern, the Louisville and Nashville, the Milwaukee Road, the Pennsylvania, the Santa Fe, the Seaboard Airline, the Cotton Belt, the Sioux Line, the Southern, the Southern Pacific, and the Union Pacific. And last but not least, even the original Philadelphia in Reading embraced the muscular Jeep. If you look hard enough, you can still find GP30s in service on short lines and tourist railroads all around America. Even the giant CSX uses GP30 car bodies as slug units, or at least it did before PSR.